Hi, welcome to Misty's Country Cooking. Today I'm going to be making homemade cornbread. I'm going to be using a recipe out of my Cane Creek Cooking Cookbook called Golden Cornbread. And these are my ingredients. I have one cup of cornmeal, yellow cornmeal. I have one cup of flour. I have a fourth cup of sugar, a fourth cup of butter, a cup of milk, a little bit of salt, and two or three teaspoons of baking powder, and two whole eggs that we raise here on our home farm from um, Golden Red Hens, and they give us an egg a day every day. Okay, and then first we're going to be putting our cornmeal in and our flour. I'm going to add my salt and my baking powder. I'm going to mix this up real good first. Let's add our sugar. set up really well. And we'll add our butter. You can use shortening or lard. I just don't have lard on hand right now. Which makes it much better. A cup of milk. Set up just a little bit. And add our two eggs. them eggs up in the middle there. You see why it's called golden cornbread. It's got a nice golden color. Blend this up real good. And then I've got my skillet on to preheat on my stove. And you always need to use a cast iron skillet and preheat it. That way it just gives you a nice crisp crust on the bottom of your cornbread. Just about be good enough. All right, let's see here. We'll take this over and put it in our skillet. It's good and hot. It's sizzling. It just sizzles so you have a nice bottom crust. My grandma taught me that. And there's nothing like a cast iron skillet to cook cornbread in. Okay. Okay, we're going to put a lid on this and let this bake for about 25 minutes or so. And we'll take a check of our, we're going to have them with our beans we have today. I soaked them overnight and then I put them in there with some bacon and some salt and pepper and a little zatarain seasoning. And those will be good and done by the time the, bit, the bread's done. We'll come back in just a little bit and we'll check this in y'all. Okay, it's now time to check this cornbread. Okay, it's time to do what I do. I take it off and I have to flip it over to get the top around like I want. So here's the little trick. Let's see if I can do it or not. Sometimes I can't. Alright, let's see here. Alright. <laughs> Put it back on here with the top brown and then we'll be getting it off and cutting it and have us in a taste in just a little bit. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. Let's check this now. I believe it's done. Yeah, nice and brown. Alright, let's get this off. I'll just take it, flip it over so you can see it. There you go. Cut us a piece. And I'm almost like a cornbread cake. Okay, there we go. Put it here and put a little butter in mine. There, it ain't working. There. Just a little taste of beans out here. Mm, that's good. A little beans with it. Now that's good food for a nice cold day like this. Now, I hope y'all enjoyed your segment on homemade cornbread. Hope y'all come back and see us now, you hear?